What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, we're drawing Miss Delight from Poppy Playtime. Let's begin today's lesson in the center of the page with the inside edge of the brow. We want to leave a small gap in the center. Let's start over on the left. Bend this in and then up. Line this up on the right side and do the same thing. Now you want to curve the brow going up and then out towards the side. Now from this inside point, we're going to step down, curve the cheek, going up and then down towards the side and then line this up on the right. Let's draw on the outside edge of the eye. From the top of the brow, step in, curve this around and then in on top. And then from the inside, bend this down and then out. Let's pull the pupil towards the inside. So on the top left, curve this around and then in. Same thing on the right. And then in the center, draw a circle for the pupil. Let's fill the outside of the eyes in black. Let's go directly underneath the eyes and draw a curve for the mouth, coming down and then up. Let's go back to the left side, draw the bottom of the mouth. So we come down, go across, and then back up. Let's add a curve along the side of the teeth, bend this in and then out. And we'll fill the outside of the mouth in black. Let's separate the teeth in the middle with a curve, coming down and then up. And it'll separate the top row of teeth. Starting in the middle, let's go up and then down. And the same thing on the right. Let's add one more, going up and then down towards the outside. Let's do the same thing across the bottom, coming down and then up. And we'll add one more on the outside. Now let's draw the lower half of the head. From the left side, curl all the way around, come in underneath the mouth, curl out, and then bend that in. Now on the left side, let's work our way across the edge of the hairline. We'll go up, and then in. Is that a strand coming down and across? Coming in, and then up on the right. Now from here, we're gonna bend this down and out towards the right. And we'll curve that down toward the top of the cheek. Now I want to add that large scar in the center of the head. Let's start from the top of the left brow. Then we'll go up and across toward the right. And then bend that up underneath the hair. Go to the top of the right brow, going out and then up. Let's tear up the sides around the mouth, starting underneath the eye, curve around and in. Just gonna add these small curves going all the way around the mouth and then in toward the chin. Let's do the same thing on the right. Now along the side of the head, we're going to draw those two large curls. Let's start underneath the cheek, come around, go up and out. I'm just going to swirl this in and then back up. Do the same thing on the right. Come down and up, round up the top, and pull that back up. Now before we draw in the hair, let's add that ribbon on the left side. We start with a knot, start with a curve, round up the side of the knot, coming down, and we'll round out the bottom. From the top of the knot, let's draw the bow, going up and then out. Come down to the bottom corners, come down and out. Now over on the left side, we're gonna draw a curve, but we're gonna add a notch, go halfway, do the same thing on the right. Come all the way down toward the bottom, add that notch, and close this off. Now on the side of the knot, let's add a fold. Now I'm going to brush the hair coming down the right side. Let's start on the right side of the bow, going up and then out. Let's add a point, pulling that back in. Go around the head and then down. And then add another point. Let's do that one more time. Adding a small point. Come 
in and round up the side of the head and pull that in behind that swirl. Let's close off the left side of the head, starting from the bow, going out, and then bending the neck in. Now with the head complete, let's move down and draw on the side of the body. We're going to start underneath the head on both sides, bend this out, and then down toward the hip. And we'll close off the bottom with a curve. Let's move up and draw the top of the sash, going across. Move up to the top and add another curve. Let's add the straps on the side, coming down. And then we're going to add in the shirt collar, starting in the middle. Let's come down and then up toward the left, and then the right. Let's add the tie in the middle, come down and in toward the bottom of the knot. Close this off. And then from the bottom corners, come down and out in behind. Let's add that apple symbol in the middle, starting from the center, going all the way around the left side, and then up. Go around the right side, and then up. And then along the top, let's add the stem. Now let's go back to the hips and curve the skirt. Going out, and then down towards the bottom. And then we want to tear up the bottom of the skirt, starting from the outside. We're going to add a series of curves. We want to vary the size and distance, going all the way around towards the right. Let's go to the center of the body, draw a straight line coming down towards the heels. And I want to curve the feet, coming down and up toward the left and right side. Let's round up the top of the feet, going up and then down in towards the heel. And then from the top of the foot, go up underneath. Let's add a fixed sole on the bottom of the feet. So we're going to take this curve and just trace this across the top. And then from the top of the feet, let's come in and then down. Now let's go to the right side of the hip, draw two straight lines coming down. And we'll add the knot in the middle, come down and out toward the left and right. Then it's back up and then in. Now on the side of the body, let's add in those large sleeves. We're going to start underneath the head, then it's out, come down, and then in toward the side of the body. And then we're going to add some ruffles across the bottom. Starting from the outside, we're going to draw three curves. Come in, close in toward the side of the body, and then do the same thing on the right. Let's go to the inside of the sleeve, bend the arm going out, and then down toward the wrist. And then from the wrist, draw a small half circle for the thumb, and then close off the end with a bracket. Let's add three fingers on either side. Start from the bottom of the thumb, we're going to come down and around that bracket. Go to the side, add the second finger, and then the third finger, we're just going to pull this up underneath the sleeve. Let's do the same thing on the right side. And then we'll sign our art and add a splash of color. And that's pretty much it. That's how I draw Miss Delight from Poppy Playtime. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single week. And if you want details on the art supplies we use, I'll leave a list with links in the description below. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.